This video playlist will guide you through the development of an architectural floor plan in AutoCAD LT. This video will focus on drawing the offset exterior walls and positioning of the interior walls on the design from the right hand side. So we're converting from the finished copy and creating our new design. A floor plan as shown on the left hand side of the screen is essentially a top down or plan view of a building that is sectionally or horizontally cut at approximately one meter from the ground. This is noticeable in the design on the right where the roof and upper portions of the walls are removed. This is done to expose the interior layout and dimensions or the measurements of the building design. Floor plan views are used by designers, engineers, council or government departments that been going through for building approval along with different trade personnel. So the designs need to be really clear and these will be used by builders, electricians, plumbers, all through the sort of design and construction stages. Looking at another design, sorry. We've got the Fitzroy High School design by McBride, Charles and Ryan. Floor plans, if we scroll down, we've got our site plan. And notice that each level of a building is presented on separate floor plans. Being the ground level, level one, and so on and so forth. This is to better organize um, the designs and provide greater clarity. Plans are usually accompanied with site plans, which we saw at the top, and potentially elevations as well. Technical drawings need to adhere to certain technical drawing standards and conventions that meet, in our case, the Victorian government building regulations. That be also local council laws. As it's been interpreted, by many different trades and different personnel. As part of VISCOM, so the visual communication design, we need to meet the VCAR technical drawing standards. And these are available in the video description. And the area that we want to be associating with is the environmental design area. And so that's from page 25 onwards. We can notice on the screen, we have site plans and floor plans presented there. So let's get started with our reproduction of our floor plan. Opening back CAD. You wanna go through and make sure you have your draft proposed design for your floor plan to then go through and begin. You'll notice I've started off and I've used the polylines, rectangles and arcs to identify the outline or foundation of the building. Making sure I'm using whole numbers. Um, so for an example, a room might be four point by three and a half meters. This is another document I'll have in the video description. And this just has the house appliance and furnishing dimensions for floor plans. So notice that the room sizings are presented there as well. Notice I've gone through and used those um, poly lines and rectangles to go through and construct my design. With the arc, you might notice sometimes it won't be connected and you'll have to go through and make that connection. Once you've gone through and created that, sometimes you'll have to go through and trim some set areas. So initially I had this surrounding box. Let's turn that off for now. And I've gone through and trimmed out this portion down here. Now we want to move on to the offset. The offset can be found under the modify tab and we've got offset here. So we want to specify the distance in our case being 270 millimeters um, from VCAR. Suggested offset for the wall dimensions. So then this stipulates our wall thickness here. Once we've gone through and done that, we now wanna go through and include the interior walls. So once again, use a rectangle and potentially poly lines to go through and make sure the walls are correctly in place, making sure they're all aligned with interior wall thickness at 110 mil thick. I'm going to go through and speed up this video to make it a little bit quicker. So feel free to go through and pause it where need be. You'll notice that I'm also making sure I'm using the snap or object align uh, in terms of referencing for the walls. Let's get started.
There we have it. Now I just want to go through and trim additional lines that are no longer needed. So that was all excess there. I'm going to position a washing machine in this area so I don't need some of these additional lines. So this next phase is just going through and removing those additional lines so the exterior walls link to the interior walls so I can fill them with hatching later. So we're going to go through and continue to create our floor plan. So please go through and watch the following video focusing on blocks within this playlist. This will assist with importing doors and other building features and appliances. So doors and windows are the next crucial thing to go through and do.